Hi, Leah. Welcome. Almost your season. We're getting there. Are you climbing the walls yet? That's okay. Your energy is being conserved and will be used for great things. So take a deep breath and let's relax together. And let's see what comes up. Nine of Wands. Your energy is being reserved and will be used for great things. They're right behind you. They're on their way. Do not worry. It all has to do with worth. It all has to do with value. But first, it requires reception and rest. To receive and to rest are two things that Leos are not necessarily the best at. Sure, you can receive when you work hard. But to receive while resting, what is that? I didn't work for that. I'm just going to get that. I mean, I'm used to getting attention. I'm used to getting love. But I'm also used to working for my abundance. You mean I can just have it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a departure from what you are used to. Sure. But it's so good. Because you need rest. Mm -hmm. The thing about cats is... Whatever they're told to do, they want to do the opposite. So now that you're told that you can't do much, now you want to do it all. So you're not really resting. Up here in the mind, you're just running, running, running. Oh, I love when it's about worth. I love when it's about you coming back to remembering who you are, irrespective of what is going on. That right there is restful reception if I've ever seen it. She's not doing anything. She's just sitting there. And she's getting all this stuff. So, rest. Abundance and work are not as tied together as you think they are. That's just a certain mindset. Mm -hmm. And then, the sun. Hey! Ten of cups and seven of cups. If you being who you are is making your love life confusing, your home life, your family life, your significant other, your wife, husband, partner, etc. is making you feel bad for you being yourself and, and that's what's causing the disruption in your happy home. It's not that happy of a home. Not if you can't be yourself. The theme of Taurus season, as I've just figured out from doing the Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer video just now, is that if you can't be yourself and have someone love you and want to be with you at the same time, if you can't communicate truly, honestly, authentically with someone, then they're not the one. But look how happy this is. This is reconnection, this is love, this is getting into something new. But again, be yourself and communicate who you are from the very beginning. You've been with someone for a while, you are just meeting someone, doesn't matter. You're starting a new job, you're working on a new project, the best thing that you can do is be completely yourself. That's always a Leo's power. The most powerful thing a Leo can do anytime is be themselves. A lot of signs can get away with faking it, you know? Pretending to be like somebody else they admire, faking it, putting on a front, just plain old acting. Now, Leos, when they are themselves, they're unbeatable. Your authenticity is your power. Sure, people can call it ego, they can call it whatever they want. And they call it that because they don't have it. <laughs> Just saying. Let yourself be who you are. The Hermit, Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. If there's a Virgo in your life or another Earth sign who you feel has been lying to you and it's been driving you absolutely crazy because you're going back and forth about what to do about them, we already know. We already know. What have we just been talking about? We already know. You have to be completely yourself. And part of being completely yourself is not dealing with bullshit and not putting up with disrespect and not putting up with any sort of infidelity. That's just not you. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're wondering, well, what do I do in a situation where I feel lied to, taken from, taken advantage of, it's driving me crazy, I'm looping in my mind about it, this could be a job. They're doing too much, they're taking too much, they're asking too much. This could be a parent, it could be a loved one, it could be a child. But if you feel like you saying things the way they really are is going to cause a rift, is going to make them too upset that they don't want to deal with you anymore, who cares? They're not allowing you to be who you are, so why should you go out of your way and bend over backwards for them to be able to be who they are, especially if who they are is not a good person? Who cares? And you will get there. Taurus season is savage season. You know that. They, You will get there. They will push you and you will get there and then it will be time for you to tell them what's really up. And when you start to tell them what's really up, that's when things will get very interesting. It's very important to use this sword. Remember, Taurus season is about the throat. It's about the throat chakra, the neck, the voice, singing, all of that. You need to say it. You've been sitting on it and waiting and trying to be nice and trying to play house and trying to do this and trying to do that. Now, if you are yourself and you communicate what you already know, so whoever is idiotic enough to not realize by now that this is what you think of yourself and this is how you should be treated, that's fine. But as long as you are true to it and you stick to uh uh anything less than this i'm not taking it i'm not dealing with it no they'll sort themselves out and if they want to come back with some let me confuse you let me make you even more miserable under the guise of i love you and we could have a happy life that's when you pounce on them yeah all these seasons i'm gonna be nice be nice be nice leo be nice no no reason to be nice not in taurus season no reason to be nice no Everyone needs to know where they stand and why. And it's your job to tell them because it's your life. It's your family. It's your abundance on the line. You know what I mean? So, tell them. If you've got an air sign in your life that you really care about, especially if this is someone younger than you, and you feel like making yourself miserable will somehow make their life better, you are very, very wrong. No one's life is made better no one's life is made better by you staying in a miserable situation. Leo's have this thing of like it's okay if I'm unhappy, if the group is happy, if the collective is happy, which if my family is happy, which is so so much in opposition of what people think you're like. So it's so easy to misunderstand you, but you do always make sacrifices to make sure that the unit is happy. It is time for you to think about you because the unit is suffering because you are not happy and you're not saying anything about it. And now if you are really happy and you've already done all this often in the comments, I'll see, oh, but I already did all this a couple of months ago. Good, good, good. You already did it. Wonderful. Love. If you've already done it, one, keep doing it. Two, there's a really, really good connection coming in for you. And it's based on your almost like... Ugh, undeniable need now to keep speaking to keep being authentic to keep voicing your needs and the more you do it no matter what people are saying to you about how it seems and oh you should be more like this whatever, the more you do it the more you're going to pull the right person the right job opportunity everything in it is time to express yourself it is time to rest receive and express yourself good Love you. Let's look at these cards. Hi, Leo. Welcome to the second part of your reading. Okay. So it's been a few days. Actually, it's been about a week since I did the first part. And I kind of like doing it this way because it gives me that first energy of going into Taurus season and then I have a little time to think about it. And I need that because I don't want to just give you the vibes of the moment. I want to leave you with something that will help you throughout the month and that requires a little bit of thought and a little bit of time so for me looking at this now the thing that jumps out at me is that 
May is about reevaluating investment, reevaluating where you put your time. You have planets going into retrograde that are in relational aspects for you. So how you love, how you flirt, how you communicate with people you like, but also how you commiserate, how you exhibit friendship, what you expect in return, how you behave as a child and how you relate to your parents, how you relate to children in general, how you deal with illness and the prospect of someone close to you becoming ill. All of those reactions, the answers to all of those questions lie in one thing, and that is how much you invest. The thing with Leos is that either they invest too much or too little. May wants to show you where on that sliding scale you belong in relation to every different dynamic you have. So how much should you be investing in your friends and which ones? How much should you be investing in a flirtatious relationship? How much or how little? How you may not be giving enough when it comes to parents, how you may need to pull back a little when it comes to someone in your care. All of these are questions of time, of energy, and of heart. So if we're talking about your heart, it's a very sensitive subject for you. You'd rather not speak on it. Again, this is why people misunderstand Leos, because the things that are closest to Leo, they don't want to talk about. They don't want you in their business. Very, very open, very, very private, right? And doesn't that just define you? Now, if you're a cross watcher, and it's been on my mind to say this for a while, if you're a cross watcher and you're trying to emotionally manipulate, if you're in this earth sign energy here, if you're a Virgo or not, doesn't really matter. But if you're in that earth energy and you're trying to emotionally manipulate your way back into a Leo's life, it's not gonna work. Conversely, Leo, if you are trying to manipulate this earth energy somehow back into your life, it's not gonna work. There is a reckoning of sorts, a very sharp communication that needs to happen between you and that earth energy because it's just been too many times around the block in the wrong way. And you both know it. And the fact that you've both continued to play uh, at this is troubling, but it's also damaging, damaging in several ways. You see here your essence, the reason your essence is coming up, Empress the Sun, is because it's time to reevaluate how much you invest. But then there is this damage here of going around and around with someone who quite frankly makes you miserable or you're making them miserable. Now you can spin it any way you want, but that dynamic is never gonna be this. And until that dynamic is out of your system, you can't have this. But regardless of how or when it comes in, the next energy that comes in once you're done uh, dealing with those that are really not worth your time or your tears for that matter, the next thing that comes in comes in really slow, extremely slow. And the reason it's extremely slow is because you need time. Sure, there is a lot hidden standing right behind you that really wants to show itself and say, hey, Leo, this is what's coming up for you if you would just let go of the trash. But even when you let go, the next month is slow. It's slow in terms of money. It's slow in terms of relationships. It's even slow in terms of just ha finding someone to just like hang out with. Why? Why is it so slow? Because it wants you to do something that you don't really do very often. It wants you to assess it wants you to throw up how much you do and how much you care about people up against what they're doing for you, but not because 
you should stop being around the people who aren't reciprocating. No, it's about the quality of the investment that they're making. Do you need to invest less? Is it fair? Are you allowing yourself? Are you using yourself? You know, you can't say somebody else is using you when they're pretty clear about using you, right? If someone is very clear about using you, and again, if you're a Virgo cross watcher, this can very well apply to you. It can be either way around. If someone is very clear about using you, they're not using you. You're using you. You're putting yourself in that situation. You're the one damaging yourself. So stop. And if you're so worked into whatever fantasy they showed you of what it could be, what maybe it might be, what if you just give it a little time, what if you just give me a little space, what if you just let me do what I want, it's all false. It doesn't go anywhere. There is no road. It's just misery after misery after misery. But once you are truly free of it, once you are brave enough to be free of it, something really magical starts, but notice, then we come back here. It starts and it's beautiful and it's magical, but it's slow and it's small still. You still have to deal with yourself and you have to deal with those who would, especially the earth energy, who would very much like to manipulate you into a place where you don't care about yourself and all you care about is them. And to do that, you would have to sacrifice a huge part of yourself. And I think for a long time you have. If there is an air energy around that you thought at one point could have been something, I don't know, Leo. I don't know about that. I would wait, especially because the term coming up is so slow. Just wait. Give yourself space and time. And I know that's, you know, Mm, I don't know if that lands well because because of the quarantine everybody has got space and time but I mean in your mind I mean in your heart pull the plugs pull all the different plugs from wherever they are out there back unplug from all these different people pull your energy back into yourself it's really important that you do so because you know once this is all over there's a lot you've got to do and you're going to need that energy. But let's talk about that now in the extended. The links for personal readings, if you would like a recorded reading or a one-on-one -on -one video chat, they're both below. When you go to the Chattelize page to, to book a one-on-one -on -one live reading, you will have to scroll down because the first two sessions are sold out. The third session for May 11th still has, I think, two spots open. And the Instant and the Vimeo Extended are the same. Both those links are below as well. Let's get into the Extended right now. Love you.